So glad you joined us. I'm Julie Bumgardner, and this is Julie B TV. I remember one year, it, it was Christmas, and we had been to my mother-in-law's house for Christmas Eve, and then we drove to my mom's house, and our daughter was up really late and then of course we got up really early on Christmas Day Christmas evening we had a massive meltdown and I'm thinking to myself what in the heck is going on this has been fun good day why are we having this meltdown and I realized later not at that moment in time, later, that, I mean, we had just totally blown everything that we normally do as a family, like it all went out the window, in order to accommodate a bunch of other people and what they wanted to see happen around this particular time. Fast forward a number of years later, and I'm doing all of this work with families and with parents, and what I realize is that sometimes we as adults don't realize how perhaps scheduled we are. We have this day timer, we have our phone, we keep our appointments on there, but our kids, they don't have that. It's like we function as their day timer. And you think about yourself, when you don't know what to expect, what's coming next, it's not a very good feeling we tend to do better at controlling ourselves with that bad feeling. Our kids, they just lay it all out there. They have a meltdown, pitch a fit, throw a tantrum on the floor when they feel out of control. So what I thought we could talk about today is the idea of routines, rituals, consistency, and structure, and how important they are in that this is how our children order their lives. So let's take routines. You think about your day. When you get up, what happens after you get up? If, if you are heading out, uh, if your child goes to preschool, what do they do to get ready for that? They head out for the day, everybody comes back home. What does coming home look like? What does your evening look like? Do you eat dinner together, bath time, bedtime? And then what time do you normally go to sleep? All of those things, when they're different every single day and children don't know what to expect, it's a very bad out of control feeling. And the way that they respond to that is with a meltdown. They're just trying to tell you, this is not working for me. So with routines, if you can figure out consistency in that, which is one of the other ones that we want to talk about, getting up at a regular time, going to bed at a regular time, bath time at the same time, at bedtime, what do you do at bedtime? There is enter rituals. All of that, your child knows, oh, I can count on this. This is what we do. In, in our family, if you had asked our daughter early on, let's say in the first grade, what does it look like at your house? She would tell you, I get up at eight o'clock, we leave for school at a quarter till nine because her school didn't start until nine o'clock. And then somebody picks me up in the afternoon, I come home, we do homework, we eat dinner around six, I take a bath around seven, we usually read a book or do something like that before I go to bed, we pray when I go to bed, and then I sleep. So she always knew what to expect. That's powerful in a child's world. It gives them security and they know what's coming next. It's just like if you actually go into a kindergarten class and you ask them what they do throughout the day, they do the same thing because it provides consistency for the kids. When it comes to structure, you know, there's actual research that says that children do better on playgrounds with fences than on playgrounds without fences. And the reason for that is that they know exactly where the boundary is. Now you have to keep in mind that it's a child's job to test the boundaries. So sometimes you're gonna say, don't step across this line, and they go, boom, and they step right across the line because 
They want to know what you're going to do. So as a parent, our job is to provide that structure to help them know this is what's acceptable and this is what you can count on from me. If you do something that you're not supposed to do, that I ask you not to do, you can count on the fact that we're going to deal with that because it's my job to keep you safe. So giving them structure. And that means talking with them about in our home, we do these things. For example, in our house, big rule for me was not saying shut up and being respectful to each other. And so even early on, before our daughter could write, we would still write out, this is the bum gardener rules and expectations in our home. This is how we live. We would write those out and everybody signed their name, including our daughter. And sometimes that was just a scribble. And then when she was older, it was writing out her name. And we put it on the refrigerator so that everybody knows this is how we live. So structure matters. Uh, when it comes to rituals, bedtime rituals, daddy-daughter date nights, mommy-daughter, mommy-son, outings, things that they know, oh, once a week or once a month, we do these things. At night, we eat dinner together as a family. We talk about things. Those are all rituals that actually matter. And believe it or not, they carry on into adulthood for your kids. You're teaching them the importance of rituals in the family. So thinking about what is it that you want? I can remember I had a friend and her dad every Saturday, pancake Saturday. They all knew. He left out for work earlier than they got up every day of the week. But on Saturday, everybody knew breakfast with dad and he's making pancakes and he made crazy pancakes. And they loved it. And today they still talk about the way that they enjoyed that time with their dad. That's a ritual. And it's a wonderful thing to do with your family. The last thing is, is consistency. And you know, as parents, this is, this is a hard one uh, because we love our kids. We don't want to see them hurt. So we give in sometimes. The best thing you can do for your child is be consistent. Man, don't throw something out there that you're not willing to enforce when it comes to expectations in your home. And, you know, be careful with things like you're grounded for the next month because you just grounded yourself for the next month. So think about in your home what really matters. And I would tell you, based on experience, less is more. What you want is relationship. And in order for there to be relationship, there has to be connection. That consistency as a parent, for your child to know you have their back and that, you know, this is what's expected in our home. And if I don't do that or I go against that, I can count on the fact that my parents will deal with that. Will you get pushback? You bet. I, I just can't even tell you how many times I watched eyes roll or heard a heavy and got the look um, or or just really literal pushback but the reality is you're the parent and they need you to be the parent you can't you can't be looking for them to say oh thank you so much thank you so much for the routines and rituals and consistency that you have in my life because you're not going to get that maybe you might get that later but you're not going to get that while while they're young as, as you be the parent they need you to be, you are giving them the gift of learning. They learn that they're separate from you. They do have a mind. They can think. They can say no, but there can also be consequences to saying no when you ask them to do something. So routines, rituals, consistency, and structure. Four very powerful tools that you can use in your home to bring security and to also teach your child some very important life lessons and to help them grow and thrive. Want to be the first to know when new episodes get released? Hit the subscribe button now. This is right here. Down here. Where is it? Seriously? <laughs>